Sean, you've had some some big wins here at Clemson. Where did you kind of rank what happened Saturday night? Um. You know, personally, I, I feel like all the wins are big, uh, but you know, it's always good to, you know, especially go down there. Um, you know, prime time game at night, uh, the whole world is watching. We haven't won down there in ten years, so um, you know, it's one of the best. You know, just overall team win, just to be able to, you know, go down there and put that off. You're now four and one, I think, against Clemson this year. What does that mean to you? That being Clemson, I mean Florida State, South Carolina. Uh, it's, it's you know it's pretty big. You know it's a uh, you know take a you take a lot of pride in in you know those games and rivalry games and and you know wanted to pull it out and you know have you know the I guess be the you know the the leader of that and just you know have you know all year to you know brag about you know winning the game. So um, you know it's pretty big. Describe the mindset. Of uh, let's just go win the game and you know players made plays and um, you know just you know this is what we are built for um, you know we practice this every Wednesday um, you know being down or you know being up you know depending on the situation and having the opportunity to go win the game and and um, you know and solidify the win. Is that the most you've been harassed in the backfield this season? How about what? Is that the most you've been harassed in the backfield this season? Um, at our defensive line? I guess. I'm not even sure. Did you feel like that was your best game this season? Um, not, no, not really. Um, I felt, uh, you know, I did some good things, but at the same time, I uh, made some uh, poor decisions um, that I kind of wish I would have, you know, at the time of, you know, doing those, making those decisions, I wish I would have, you know, been able to. You know, pull it back, but at the same time, it's a learning lesson. Um, you know, I'm, I'm still growing as a player, as a person, and um, you know, just you know, the stats can you know seem like it's one of the best games, but you know, personally, um, watching the film of myself, it wasn't. You guys are traveling back, or when we meet up again, have you talked amongst yourselves at all about just some of the crazy endings, the crazy nature of the way these games are gone, or has it just kind of been business as usual? You no, know, just business. You know, just trying to find a way to win, and that's what we always talk about. No matter how what the scoreboard is 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 like at the end, um, as long as Clemson is on top and you know we find a way to win, you know that's all that matters. And you know our goal was to be one and zero last week, and we was that. So um, you know just you know we celebrate it, win. Um, we watch it on on Sundays, and then you know Mondays regroup and and go on to the next opponent. Does it add to the special nature of being undefeated this late in the season? The fact that we've had some of these fourth quarter, you know, kind of come back and kind of extra special wins? Uh, I mean, I guess, but, you know, for us, it's just, you know, regardless of if it was a, you know, comeback or a close win or overtime or if it was blowouts, you know, each win is special. Um, you know, it's hard to win at this level. It's hard to win consistently and um, especially in this conference with everyone, you know, being good and, and you know, just going on the roll and, and getting wins is, you know, it's tough. Um, and so we just, you know, each win is, is very special. Is there something about Florida State's defense that you're able to find Jordan it's two straight games against them and uh, he's been able to find a lot of room? Uh, just the game plan and, you know, they're just letting them, you know, Jordan's just been doing a great job of running routes and understanding what their defense is doing. And, you know, he's just, you know, working to get open and, and find the ball. So um, that's pretty much it about that. that. That last drive when he had three catches, 70 yards, <coughs> were you surprised that uh, he was he was able to find that much room? Or was that specifically the plan on that drive? That no, we don't go in looking at, you know, just one player, you know, Everyone's capable of touching the ball, no matter, you know, what the play call is. You just got to be ready for your moment. It just depends on what the defense is doing, and the defense left him open. And you know, I found, you know, found him, and you know, he caught the ball and made some big plays. You have four uh, players with over 60 yards receptions. How, how nice is it to have so many players and so many options? Uh, it's always good to have guys that can make plays and and and. Uh, be there for the outlet and you know just go out there and just and do what they do and um, you know it's always good to have guys you know multiple guys of you know just that can you know be able to you know make big time plays. How fun was that Uh Well, I didn't really get to experience it because I had to do media, uh, but you know everyone was uh, 
you know, very excited um, and, and, you know, happy and, you know, just really um, ready to get on the plane and see their families and, and get back to Clemson and celebrate. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, it was a great win, a great night. So. Looking forward to Syracuse. Uh, what have you seen from them on film, or are they a more improved defensive unit this season? Um, you know, it's hard to see a little bit, but, you know, not too much. But, I mean, there's a, it's a great group that's playing well, and, you know, you just got to go out there and, and do what we do. Um, they're very confident in, in their coaching staff and what they do. Um, and, you know, they're going to give, you know, their you know, best shot at us, you know, coming in Saturday. Even with the ability to come back and win, is there any concern that you guys have put yourselves in that position where you need to come back? Late. I mean, a lot of that didn't happen down the stretch uh, last year. No, we just keep fighting, keep winning. We don't worry about what happened in the past or what's going to happen in the future. We just worry about the present and the moment, and um, you know, focus on you know that that one play, and um, you know, we can only control what we can control, and that's going out there executing and uh, you know making plays. So we don't really worry about anything else that's going on outside or what's going to happen in the you know past or the future. Curious. Sundays after games, do you get to watch a lot of NFL? Uh, it just depends. If I, you know, I go to church and then, you know, I sleep in a little bit, take a nap. Uh, but I watch a little bit whenever I have the chance to. Any, any of those young quarterbacks you like watching? Uh, I mean, I like Wentz. You know, I've trained with him before. Uh, Dak talked with him before. He's, just, you know, all those guys are just playing well. Um, you know, I watched that game last night and. You know, just uh, you know, I was just very excited and proud for those guys. You know, going in there um, as a rookie and, and playing on the big stage and being successful. So, um, you know, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of both of those guys, and you know, just really, um, you know, all the quarterbacks that's having success. Kirk Hubel uh, hit that big 46 yarder, was three for three on the night. Um, obviously, you always want to get touchdowns, not field goals. But how much of a comfort is it to know you have a kicker like him? That's always good. We all trust in, in Greg and what he can do. Uh, no matter where, you know, he got to kick off or, or you know, kick the field goal from. Um, you know, he's a, he has a big leg. He's very confident in himself, and um, you know, he's been in situations like that before. So it's, you know, pretty much the norm for him. Um, and you know, he's just, you know, whenever his time is, his number is called, he's go out there and produce, and, and he made the big play. So. All set.